Virgo, welcome to your soulmate reading. Thank you for joining me today. So, as always, you know the drill, okay? I'm talking to a collective. There's many Virgos out there watching this, so you might not connect or resonate with the things I say every week. That's totally fine. That's part of the game. So you can look at your other placement, uh, and if you connect to my message, please let me know. The signs who get the most like will get the bonus reading. You had a bonus reading a couple of days ago. You guys seem like you love it. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm done talking. <laughs> Let's start with the reading. What is the energy connecting you and your soulmate? We have the lover's card. Okay, so of course, lover's card is Gemini energy. So a feeling of founding your twin, finding your person. Okay, you might already be with them. You might already know them. What I love about the lover's card is that we are in a place in our life where we love ourselves enough that we are ready to let someone love us. You know, I, I don't care if it sounds cheesy. It's really about that, okay? Um, I love that. Okay, this is beautiful energy. I don't think it's the first time that you, you get the lover's card as general energy of a soulmate reading. A lot of you seem like you are in a new serious relationship or that you met you know, your person, when I was reading the, the comments, I was just uh, in awe. And I am mar married to a Virgo, so I like that. Okay, give me one card. A new romantic cycle begins. Okay, so just like I was saying. And you know, it's really important that we understand also as human has partner that a new romantic cycle is not necessarily new love, okay? Even if you've been with someone for 10 years, you can give each other uh, the chance to begin new cycles in love, okay? So you might be talking to someone online. You might just be starting a new relationship. You could also be in a long-term relationship and feeling like you guys are starting over in a way. Learning. Uh, Virgo, you guys learn all the time huge lessons, and I think that you are the kind of people that really apply the lessons that you learn. It could take a, you know, it could take a freaking long time for you to apply these lessons, but I do feel like you transform a lot. And we don't really associate Virgo with transformation, but I do since I've, you know, been sharing my life with a Virgo for so long. I really see the type of energy you guys are. See, we have the Ace of Wands. There's literally a feeling of a new beginning, okay? Um, the attraction is here. The excitement is here. So if you've been in a long-term relationship, you could be thinking of buying a house with your person. You could be thinking of traveling, of starting fresh in the relationship. But for many of you, this is like... You could be talking to someone online and being excited to meet them or you're just starting something fresh. There is a major feeling of something new is starting. Feeling like we deserve a brand new beginning, okay? Give me more for Virgo. Give me more for Virgo, okay? We have your energy in the Seven of Cups. So there's many options opening to you, okay? Not only in love, but in life in general. So you might be thinking of buying a house, changing work, expanding your knowledge in like so many ways. And I do feel like you are choosing someone special to share that with, okay? Um, you have options, you are lovable, you are intelligent. It feels like you're finally realizing that you have options. Maybe you've been caught in the same routine for so freaking long and now you're like, okay, doors are opening to me. Again, it's a lot about this thing I was saying in the beginning. You really practicing self-love in a new way. It's easy to say, yeah, yeah, I love myself. Uh, I know I'm the shit. You know, Virgo, you guys are really self-confident. You can just tell when someone is a Virgo, like when they walk into a room, I feel like there's something about you guys just um, 
it shows the way you talk, the way you act, really self-confident. And it's really attractive to other people. But I feel like when you really start to love yourself and not validate yourself through the eyes of other people, it's just doors open for you, literally. It's like there is nothing that can stop you. And I do feel like this is the kind of situation that we're seeing here in this reading. Okay, tell me more about Virgo. See? <laughs> Listening to your soul. The fool is the soul of the tarot. The tarot is his story, okay? And I think this is exactly it. You've been waiting for something to happen. You've been doing your thing, working your nine to five, maybe putting money aside, maybe working on your body, working on your money, you know, on, on your comfort. And now there is something about you being comfortable, not only with yourself, not only in your relationship, but also I do have a feeling that it's about money and your stability. And you're like, you know what? I'm done being scared. I'm done... Uh, trying to be perfect all the time and planning ahead and just being so practical all the time. I just want to be crazy. I just want to listen to what my soul is calling me to do. There's something really beautiful about that. The hermit is still here. You're still going to be practical. You're still going to be in your head a lot. Um, you know, you can't really take a Virgo out of his mind. You know, it's really hard to for you guys to to not have your mind always working constantly. But I do feel like there's something that you're doing and it comes from you in that situation that really helps you evolve. So it could be that you're moving your physical body. It could be that your your physical body, that was weird saying that, but you know what I mean. It could be you going back to school, opening books, uh, keeping your brain busy, learning something, expanding your knowledge, wanting to start your own business, starting a new crazy project. And I do feel like there is someone backing you. There's someone like pushing you, being like, hey, you can do that. You have the talent. Stop being so practical all the time. Stop worrying all the time and just do that crazy thing. I feel like you know what I'm saying. Like there is a calling inside you to do something out of your comfort zone. But it's not scary. Because you have the talent. And I feel like you could really be someone who influenced people in many ways. Okay, these two wanted to come out. And this one. What do we have here? Listen. There's something about you receiving love, okay? This is Venus ruled, Taurus, Libra energy. You know, it's like we are learning to receive not only what the universe has for us, but the love that people want to give us. You could be dealing with a Taurus. Definitely Taurus Virgo is a beautiful combination. doesn't have to. I'm just putting it out there. But you've been building slowly but surely a strong solid relationship that will be lasting long term and dare i say forever okay so i feel like i have to tell you you have love get out of your head okay stop worrying so much about will i have enough am i going to be okay is this person still going to love me in five years, 10 years? Am I going to have enough money? Am I going to have work? Am I going to do this and that? You're a human being. Of course, you're asking yourself a bunch of questions. That's just a proof that you are intelligent, okay? Asking ourselves the good question. But I do feel like you're kind of done being in your head all the time. You just want to enjoy life. There's literally a calling of you wanting to enjoy life and feeling free in general my intuition is like a little intense right now but there's a specific message coming through okay you might be uh reconnecting with someone from your past an old friend a family member that you've been really missing okay some someone that you consider that you know they have a really special place in your heart but i think that you've been disconnected with them maybe that you've been um putting a lot of energy in your relationship, in your work, in building something long-term and solid, but there is a calling to go back to the roots. 
Is there a friend from your childhood, a family member, someone that made you feel really happy when you were younger? Someone that you miss? This is literally intuitively what I'm what I'm sensing. The Page of Cups is not always that, but in that situation, it is that. It feels like someone's going to be reaching out, and maybe a couple of years ago, you would be, you would have been like, oh. I don't want to deal with that person. I don't want to deal with anyone. I just want to focus on my own, you know, business, my my relationship. I'm busy. I don't want to think about that. Maybe you were uncomfortable um, with, you know, things that are tender, things that are emotional. You didn't really want to deal with that. But someone is coming in. And it's not about love in that situation. It's someone that you can trust and they really care about you and i feel like they want to reconnect okay i'm hearing family member let me know in the comments below if that resonate with you but you will be reconnecting with someone and it's a really important relationship someone that you were close with in your childhood that you were always laughing playing with having fun with really specific message yeah I think that this person had a lot to heal. And I know this is a soulmate reading, but guys, when there's something coming through, I have to tell you, even if it's not concerning love. This person had something to heal. And I do feel like in the past, they brought a lot of things to you emotionally. They kind of help you become this person that you are today. They give you a lot of self-confidence, a lot of advice, okay? Someone that is really special to you. I don't want to say a teacher, but someone who taught you a lot of things. But I feel like you understood that throughout the years, like by growing up and becoming uh, an, an adult, you know, you realize like this person taught me so much. They had such a huge impact on this, my style, uh, the things I like, how I, you know, my values and everything. Okay. And we have the king of wands. So this person is someone that you look up to. And again, they really helped you build your self-confidence and I think it's gonna be a really important thing for you to reconnect with them. So open up, open your heart definitely. And I feel like, I don't know why, but I feel like your partner or your love situation has a little bit to do with that. You know, this person could be saying like, hey, it's it seems like you're really happy, congratulations. Um, I'd love to meet your partner. I, 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 it seems like you're happy. It seems like you're doing good. Let's reconnect, okay? So there's kind of a connection here. Really specific message I'm getting here. What the hell is up tonight? Okay, let's start clarifying. Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands. And we have the High Priestess. So beautiful energy. In your relationship, okay? It feels like you have freedom, you have independence, and you've definitely been working on your intuition for some reason. Let me know if you've been feeling a shift recently on you listening to your intuition. And it's a lot, again, about self-love, being comfortable with yourself and knowing that you have the answers. Um, I do feel like some of you are really connecting with the divine. And maybe in the past you were a little bit ashamed of that. Maybe you weren't comfortable sharing that with other people. But now it's becoming like a major part of your personality in your life. And maybe it's your partner. Maybe your partner is really intuitive and they're kind of opening the door to uh, communicate about that. But there's definitely something about you, Virgo. And I say it a lot, but... People don't give you enough credit for how intuitive you are. A lot of Virgos are healer. A lot of Virgos are uh, healers through their art also. Okay, if you're an artist, a magician, a writer, a poet, I don't care. You could be a teacher. You could be a parent, you know, anything that is you influencing someone in a good way and healing people with your words, with your action, with how you influence other, just by being you. It's, it's really specific to Virgo, how you help others just by being you, okay? The Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune comes out a lot in your readings recently. Your luck is changing, and it's all about you. It's all because of the work you've done. 
It's about your patience. It's about your hard work, definitely. I do feel like a lot of you have been just doing nine to five job like crazy, doing things that you're not really satisfied doing, but you're like, I have to pay my bills. I have to put money aside. I want a solid future. I want to be a good partner. Um, and I feel like something is changing. You might be getting your own business. You might be, you know, finding a new passion that will pay off. Uh, and it could be you teaming up with your partner and making big money. I'm going to be honest. There's a feeling of you yeah, getting abundance because you finally free yourself from like this mental prison, this thing of you being like, no, 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 I have to be safe. I have to be practical. The moment you take a leap of faith uh, and you trust yourself, there's something that's changing. It's really powerful what I'm sensing. Um, and again, there is love in your life, definitely. And, you know, I'm not talking about gender. I'm really talking about energies. But there is an impress in the center of everything. So impress is, you know, it doesn't have to be a woman, a, a man. It's like who you connect with as a partner, as a lover. You have someone. But I feel like it's not just about them and you. It's like there's so many things that they're bringing because you really practice self-love. It's really about that. This partner that you have is fabulous. It's like a mirror of yourself. Like two best friends wanting to just grow and grow together. And I feel like they're helping you so much seeing the potential in your life. Seeing the potential that you have because of your talents. Okay. Seven of Cups. The lovers. Of course, we're going to have double. This is a Virgo reading. Okay. There's no like... <laughs> There's no traditional energy. Is It's always intense. Okay? So exactly what I was saying. A mirror of yourself. This person that you share your life with. Or that the person that you will meet eventually if you, you're single right now. They're going to be bringing so much options in your life because of, you know, their talent. Because of the way they... The way they love you and the way it it's changing you to receive this much love, okay? Uh, you have a lot of admiration for them and they do for you. Queen of Cups, you know? This is so, this is such a beautiful card when it comes to love. No matter what happens, this is your person. You have absolutely no doubt that you are with a good person or that you are on the right track in life. There's something so beautiful. And I don't know why I'm picturing the sun card right now. Feeling like you are finding your true happiness. You are finding your real goal in life. And I'm not saying that you've been wasting your time. But I do feel like a lot of you have been settling for less. Because you wanted to be secure. To feel secure in the past. <laughs> Listen. When I, I just said you, you have a lot of admiration for each other. This is exactly what this card is. Okay? And I feel like because this person, this partner has so much admiration for you, it's pushing you to create something. It's definitely pushing you to create something. It's healing your mind, your body, your soul. It's like you want to be the perfect partner. There's no perfect. Uh, nobody's perfect. Of course, you're not stupid. You know that. <laughs> but you are the perfect partner for this person and they are the perfect one also for you you guys are ready to work through the difficulties and ready to have difficult conversation and it's a really special type of love it's a really specific and different type of love it's you guys have your own rules and other people might be uncomfortable they might not understand the type of relationship that you have because it's really profound. It's really special. No bullshit. This is a no bullshit type of love. Page of Cups. Ten of Sword. So again, in that row, I was feeling like someone from the past and it felt really strong. It was coming out a lot. 
we're getting a lot of release. You're going to be healing a lot of things from your past. You're going to be receiving answers from a lot of questions that you've been asking yourself. Again, this might be some kind of a mentor. Uh, or maybe they consider you a mentor, okay? But I do feel like by communicating with them, you're kind of closing a weird cycle of you being in your head a lot about something. A lot of questions are going to be answered. A lot of things are going to come to light and it's going to make you feel good. And I think this person is going to come back in your life and become a, a really important part of your life. So we have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. So we are grieving something. And you know, when I said and and on four of the on top of the four of sword makes so much sense. This person was in your life before and it feels like you've been through grief, through loss together. It doesn't have to be someone dying, but it could be a physical loss. I do feel like you're finally going to heal really deep wounds by communicating with that past person. Yeah, they're going to be, they're going to come back and become a huge part of your life and also a huge part of your partner's life. King of Wands, we have the Seven of Cups again, so options. So not only your partner is kind of opening doors for you, but this new, this past person coming back also. Maybe they have a company, maybe, maybe they have a specific talent, a specific thing or they see something specific in you that they want you to express. There's something that needs to come out of you that is creative in some type of way. And I do feel like this person, and I don't know, it's such a specific message, but they were the first person to believe in you when you were a kid. Really specific message, okay? So let me know, Virgo, how do you connect with that reading? Definitely you have love. Oh my God, we saw the Empress. Lover's card two times. I, I'm not, you know, I'm not worried for you. You have love. And if you're single, you're definitely about to meet someone really special. But I feel like this past person, friend, family member, it could be coworker, someone who was the first person to believe in your talents will be coming back with a message and it will have a major impact on you. So Open your heart, open your eyes, open everything. I feel like it's time to receive. You're going to be receiving a lot of abundance, a lot of love. And I think you're going to be taking it. We're, we're really not in an uncomfortable state here. It's, it's a lot of release happening for you, so it feels good. Okay, Virgo, thank you so much for being here. Make sure to like this video if you want the bonus reading. And I love you guys. I'll talk to you guys in a couple of days.